Have you ever watched a child or an adult do something that you thought was absolutely crazy? And then you questioned them about it and they said, oh no, we're doing this on purpose. I got to thinking about that. How many times we go through our days or our weeks, months, years without really having a purpose to why we're doing something. In Ephesians 1, verse 11, it says, In him we were also made, his inheritance, predestined according to the purpose of the one who works out everything in agreement with the decision of God's will. Life is absolutely the best when lived on purpose, not stumbling around by accident. The sooner we discover what God intends for us to do, the better. But God's purposes, they aren't always clear to us. Sometimes we wander aimlessly in what feels like a wilderness. Or we struggle against God in a vain attempt to find success and comfort in our own way, in our own means, rather than according to God's plan. Whenever we struggle against God's plans, we suffer. We suffer ourselves because we have a life that is less than it could be. When we resist God's calling, our efforts bear little fruit. I know I'm an expert in that. I've gone my own way and pushed my own way so many times, and I've gotten an orchard with maybe one orange on it. The best strategy is to seek God's wisdom ahead of time and during the time and to follow God wherever God leads. God has a plan for your life. And if you seek that plan and do it in a prayerful way, you will find it. When you discover God's purpose for your life, you're going to experience an abundant blessing, peace, and comfort, and power. God's power. And that is the only kind that is really worth having. It has been said, be patient. God is using today's difficulties to strengthen you for tomorrow. God is equipping you. The God who makes all things grow will help you bear fruit. Well, I pray with you that your life does bear fruit, that there is an abundance of harvest in your life, that you know true abundance, true happiness, and that you have it all because, because you live on purpose, God's purpose.